Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Uh, I know that I've been away for about two weeks, maybe a little bit longer, but about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, somebody compromised my blog site and I've been taking the last two weeks trying to put it back together again. I finally got it back together and I got myself a quick lesson in programming language in CSS and database files, but everything seems to be back to normal and so here I am tonight getting ready to make my dinner and I thought I'd share it with you. It's been a while. Anyway, uh, weather is cooling off here in Vegas where I live. It's getting cooler and cooler and tonight I'm having a little end of summer get together with some friends and they're all like, hey Rich man, cook us something. I'm like, you know what? Give me a break, okay? I'm always cooking for you slobs. Why don't you cook something and I'll make a nice side dish. So they agreed to cook and God knows what they're gonna bring but it better not look like little green men from Mars. But tonight I'm going to make a side dish. And I'm going to make a really easy side dish. It's nice and cool and refreshing. It's an end of summer pasta salad. And it's not a regular pasta salad, you know, pasta with a glop of mayo and a glop of mustard and relish and onion, or even the kind of pasta salad that you get in the supermarket looks like an antipasto in a bowl. It's not going to be like that. Tonight I'm going to be making a Thai-inspired pasta salad. Southeast Asian flavors in a pasta salad. It's going to be sweet and salty and hot and tart and it's going to be delicious. It makes a great side dish. It makes a great main course. I'm going to have it as a main course with some shrimp but I'm going to make it for you. So as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've been here but let's get going and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, first order of business is to make the pasta. I'm using one pound of penne regate in some very well salted water. I'm going to cook this up six to eight minutes. I'm going to make it al dente. Maybe it's just a tad softer than al dente. And then I'm going to strain it and then I'm going to cool it in some water. And we'll get to making the pasta salad. And I should be back in a few minutes. Hang tight. Okay, some of the other ingredients I'm going to make this pasta salad with are as follows. Finely slivered scallions. As finely slivered as you can get them. The trick with this salad is not to have big bulky pieces of things. You want everything to be subtle and delicate. So we're going to start with one bunch of scallions, finely slivered. Here's about six to eight cloves of garlic, finely, finely minced. You have to judge how many guests, so you roughly estimate two cloves of garlic for every guest or a little bit more depending on their tastes. Thai basil, finely chopped Thai basil and whole leaves for a difference in look, feel and texture. The flesh of about five or six Roma tomatoes, seeded. Take the seeds out or it'll turn the pasta salad into a soupy, wet, gloppy salad and I don't want that. Finely chopped, really finely chopped, fresh lemongrass. The white center, don't use the green bark. Lemongrass, one of my faves. Finely, finely chopped red and green Thai bird chilies. These puppies put the heat, and anybody who knows me here knows I like the heat. The sauce I'm going to be making is a nuk cham. You've seen me do this before with Vietnamese spring rolls. Nuk cham is used in Vietnam and in Thailand and I'm blending the two cultures together with this nuk cham base which is a little bit of all the aforementioned ingredients and uh, I make the base ahead of time like this with the garlic and the chili. I add some ginger and I add a little sugar before I add anything else and I let these flavors marry together for about an hour or two before I add the fish sauce, the sesame oil and the rice vinegar. This is going to be the dressing on the salad and as a garnish I'm going to be using baby corn. I love baby corn. So hang tight. We're going to get moving pretty soon. See you in a minute. Okay, so here's the penne regate. I let it cool off in some cold water. It stopped the cooking. And it is al dente. And I'm going to mix this by hand with the ingredients. I don't want to take a spatula or a spoon in there and possibly break some of these pastas. So here we go. First ingredient, the finely slivered scallions. I'm going to save just a touch for the shrimp for later. Okay, get these babies in there, toss it up. There we go, scallions. 
garlic. Now I'm using about eight clove. Get it in there. Oh, can smell it already. Basil. The first part I'm going to use is the finely chopped basil. Oops, got a leaf in there. Anyway, I'm going to put the finely chopped Thai basil in there first. Get it mixed around. There's a lot of stuff in this pasta salad. It's going to be really delicious. Right. Then the whole basil leaves. Oops, one fell out. I saw that. These basil leaves will relax with time. Oops, gotcha. All right. There you go. Cilantro. As much or as little as you want. There's a lot of green in this salad. That's okay. All these herbs and spices are great for the digestion. There you go. Tomatoes. Just the hearts, no right. seeds. Adds a little contrast in color. Tomato goes great with basil. Tomato goes great with cilantro. And I dropped a little piece. Here comes a little heat. And this is all dependent on you, the Thai bird chilies. I saw one escape. They always want to escape. Fresh lemongrass. Like I said, you just want to use the center white of a piece of lemongrass. The green bark is too fibrous. Doesn't taste good. Doesn't, well, it smells good, but it doesn't taste good. All right, lemongrass. This is a slightly smaller bowl and I like to use for this because this is going to serve four to six people and then some lime zest from kefir limes use it all all right get that in there all right for all intents and purposes this pasta salad is done. I'm gonna make the sauce next, so hang tight. Okay, now we're gonna make the pasta salad dressing. Nuk chum. Now as I said, this is the base. This already has garlic, ginger, chili peppers, lemongrass, a little bit of rice vinegar, a little bit of sugar. This has been marinating for about two hours with those flavors just getting married. So I'm gonna put some rice vinegar Stir it up. This is an excellent dressing. This is an excellent dipping sauce. Fish sauce. And some black sesame oil. We will get it to stick to the pasta. The dressing is done. So now I'm going to put the dressing in the salad and I'm going to let the salad sit for about 30 40 minutes till everybody gets here and I'm going to let everything marry there we go and I'll give it a quick toss everything gets wet everything gets mixed smells fantastic. All right. All right, quick toss. That's it. This is done. I'm just going to let this sit for a little while and I'm going to make some shrimp and then we're going to plate it. Okay, so I'm going to cook some shrimp. Here we go. These are going to cook really quick.
This said this salad's a great appetizer, but also makes a great main course. So I'm going to show you here what it's like as a main course. Remainder of the garlic. Mm. A little touch of the scallion. I'm just using a little Pam nonstick spread. Didn't want to bury it in oil. I want to. I want to taste everything. Remainder of the lemongrass. Over. The lemongrass is so fragrant. Just a touch of the chilies because they get hotter as the heat grows. Right? Get them right in the center. And these bad boys are done. So now I'm going to plate this and I'll be right back. There you got it, guys. Thai inspired pasta salad with penne regate, basil, garlic, Thai bird chilies, lemongrass, shrimp, baby corn, kefir lime zest, a couple of lime wedges to squeeze on top. An excellent appetizer, an excellent side dish, or in this case, in this case, a full meal. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. I know you'll love it. I want to thank you for stopping by. See you soon. Take care. Okay, guys, so there it is. A Thai-inspired pasta salad for the end of summer. Really good. Really tasty. Really fragrant. My whole house smells like a Thai restaurant right now. It was made with regular penne regate. I'm noticing lately, though, that a lot of people are on a gluten-free diet for whatever reasons. Some people are gluten intolerant uh, or they have a gluten allergy. This dish doesn't have to be made with regular penne regate. It could be made with rice noodles, glass mung bean noodles, quinoa pasta, any kind of gluten-free pasta that you could find in the health food store. I'm not up on gluten-free totally, but I have a friend here on YouTube. Her name is Ann, and she runs a channel called Easy Gluten Free. If you happen to be gluten intolerant or have a gluten allergy, or you just want to improve your health by removing gluten from your diet, then you need to go see Ann at Easy Gluten Free channel. She has a ton of gluten-free recipes. They're excellent. I want to thank you for stopping by tonight and watching me. I'm a little bit rusty after a couple of weeks, but I'll get back into the swing of things. I hope everybody enjoys this recipe. I hope you all try it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. This is Richard Blaine. You can get this recipe on my blog. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Take care.